Right, so the first screen that you will see is this when you go onto My Maths. So it will say blue port one, and you type in compass one three eight as your password, and you click login. So from now on, maths lessons will all be done from My Maths. So I'll upload a video every single day for each day of the week where you've got a different lesson, and I'll teach you how to do it and explain it to you, and then you'll have a go at completing the task. So once you're onto this page, we're not going to use the portal login, so we don't need that yet. We want to go down the side and click measurement. So the first topic we're going to be looking at in year four is money. We've already done this, but we're just going to recap and cover it again. So when you go down from here, you need to find year four. So as you can see here, you've got a circle which tells you why and then a number. That tells the year group. Our first one is year four money calculations. So I'm going to click that. As you can see, it's gone green. From there, the next thing I'm going to do is click on the lesson. This is to help us practice. It tells you the objectives and what you're going to cover. So, first calculation is here. You want to buy a bag of marbles and some crayons. Try using a calculator to work out the total cost. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show it to you on a different screen. And what I'm going to show you is how you would work it out. Give me a minute. So here, I'm going to show you how you'd work it out. What you would do is a column addition if you didn't have a calculator. So first thing you need is your pound sign. And then you've got three pounds and 12 pence. Pound sign, one pound and 58. And my addition symbol. So we always start off at the ones. Two pence at eight pence is ten pence. There's my zero, there's my one. Ten pence at fifty pence is sixty pence. Add the ten pence we've got left over, it's seventy pence. There's my decimal point. Three pounds at one pound is four pounds. So my answer is four pounds seventy. What I've done is I've put the my maths lesson slides onto this document so I can show you how to work it out. Next one is how can we use a calculator to work out this addition? So you would put into a calculator four, so you put the number four first, then your decimal point, and then eight and three plus. Now, if we write one pound like this as a decimal it equals a hundred pence. One pound, the full pound is a whole. In 89 pence, we don't have any pounds. So it's zero. And 89 out of 100 is 89 pence. So that's how you'd write it as a decimal. Okay? So that's the way we do it. When you add it in your column addition, you would do four pounds and 83 pence plus pound sign 0 0.89. So then again, you do your column addition, you start at the ones, nine, add three pence, which is your 12, so you put your two, carry the one, 80, add 80 is 160, add the 10, 170 pence. So there's seven, there's your one. Decimal point, four pounds, add one pounds is five pounds. There's your answer. Remember, you can check your answer always by doing the inverse. The next thing you have is a set of calculations which look like this. Now I'm going to highlight a few. I'm going to talk you through them and explain how you could possibly do this. If you look at these, you've got your number bonds. So you've got your three, which is here, and your seven. That's your number bonds, which will help you work it out. Then you've got another calculation here. What do we have to use Column addition for 13 pence add 11 pence. Not really because we could work it out mentally. Then you've got different calculations here, which you may need to use column addition, or you could do it mentally or as a different calculation. You can always partition a number. Another question, you've got to make sure you fill in the boxes in the correct place value. So the first one, cut and shape, is £6.50. Now, we've got to make sure it's in the correct place value. So, the 6, the 5, and the 0. 
then I've got 80 pence and 40 pence. Here, I would have to have a zero to show the place value. So it's a place value holder. First column, remember starting at the ones, zero, add zero, add zero is zero. Then we've got 50, add 80, add 40. So we're going to count up in our numbers. So 80, add 40 is 120. Add the 50, 170. There's my one. Six pounds at one pounds is seven pounds. So the answer is seven pounds 70. Again, you can check the answer by using the inverse operation. I'm going to bring you back to the my math lesson, which is over here. So if you go through the lesson, those are the calculations you'll come up with. Then you've got this activity, which is a nice matching activity where you pair two numbers together. So if I click on 80 pence, I need to find the number that shows 80 pence as a decimal. So I know it's that. If I've got eight pounds and 50 pence and I click that one, it doesn't match because the other price showed me eight pounds and five pence. So it tells you it doesn't match and it tells you the amount of tries you've had. So eight pounds and 50 pence would go to eight pound 50. So you're looking at the place value each time. Again, this is where you type them in the correct place value column. So you've got to make sure you're doing the correct place value column. Again, zero as a place value holder. And you'd use your column addition to go through it, starting at the ones. Then you click mark it and it tells you if it's right or wrong. Once you've gone through this, you go onto your portal login, where you will log in. then the work would come up. At the moment on my screen, it says I've got no homework because I've done mine, but you will have it coming up here. So you will have one My Maths task per day and I'll explain to you exactly how to do it. All the best and hopefully I'll be teaching you soon again. Keep up the good work. A lot of you are completing all your work on time and are doing it really well. So keep up with the effort that you're putting in. Well done. Hopefully once things settle down, I'll see you soon.